everybody's healthy here. Too old for this shit. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Monte Carlo. Sitting in front of Yoon Olsen's house. Checking out his vibe. Now, I'm not a stalker or anything like that, but, you know, I watch his videos every day. And if you asked me a year ago when I first started watching Yoon Olsen's videos, I would say, nah, there's no way I'm going to Monte Carlo. There's no uh, purpose or reason. This place is very expensive and very clean. And I have to say, it's probably cleaner than Japan. That's saying a lot. But, um... I came here on business. I'm like, cool, I'm going to Monte Carlo. I should go and check out, you know, where he works out, lives, whatever. You know, here I should be going up to the Grimaldi Castle, which I will later. But, uh, I guess, you know, fanboy here. But I'm walking around. It'll bring new life to the videos. You know, he'll, I'll be like, oh, I know where that is. I see where he's working out. But, uh, it's a very expensive place here in Monte Carlo. We took a bus down from Milan last night. And uh, it's just whirlwind. I'll be back in Chicago before I know it. But I want to get some B-roll down here. I want to take some good shots. Anyway, ciao! <laughs> I'm with you, man. Don't <laughs> What a cool place to live. Uh, very, very expensive. Another crazy thing about um, Monte Carlo, Monaco, is uh, they check your passport when you drive into the city. We didn't have it because we were on a bus. Some of the other folks who were with, they got stopped and the guy at the hotel said they do that all the time they they get their shit under control here they don't like people coming in this country that uh they deemed uh, undesirable which i can totally understand because it's super high end here the hotel i'm staying at oh my god the metropole this is the nicest hotel i've ever stayed in ever I'm staying in a lot of hotels, and I don't know why, well, I guess I could think why. Just the appointments, everything, top notch. I'm in the Metropole, Metropole Mall. This has got to be one of the cleanest malls I've ever been in. I don't even, I wouldn't even consider it a mall. They are scrubbing the marble on this floor like a church. This place is spotless. It's just, wow. I'm just, I'm not a clean freak, but this is just over the top. Very pretty high-end stores. This is, this is how the other side lives, folks. This is very pretty. here got the cannons overlooking uh, Monaco pirates yeah <laughs> this place is pretty cool up at the castle where uh, Princess Grace used to live I gotta go find her chapel where she got married I'm gonna do that for my mother on the wedding day the Mediterranean Sun shines as brilliantly as anyone could wish when Grace arrives on her father's arm past guards of honor from the visiting British French Italian and American warships a few minutes later, the bridegroom arrives. Most happy with a photo of something like that. So I gotta go find it. Gotta ask someone. 
bride waits at the altar, and the bridegroom comes forward to join her. A quick smile from the prince, and the ceremony is due to begin. The wedding is over, and Prince Rainier's bride is no longer Grace Kelly, but Her Serene Highness, Princess Grace of Monaco. The nervous tension of the last few days begins to relax as the prince and princess leave the cathedral to greet their cheering people. An open Rolls Royce waits to drive them on a tour through the streets of Monte Carlo. As handsome a couple as any teller of fairy tales could have described. I found the chapel where Princess Grace got married. And I was in there walking around, there was some Korean people was like, do you know Princess Grace? <laughs> it's like, yeah, she's right there. It's it's Grata Patricia, so it's in French, so they didn't understand. The funniest thing is when they're in there, the new thing is, you know how Japanese go like, hey, peace sign? When they were standing in the church, the Korean people were going like this. <laughs> it's the funniest thing, and they had their selfie sticks. <laughs> so that was the new thing, like go into a church and go, like, I still can't get over it. It's pretty funny. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. But the castle's pretty cool. They got some great stuff up here, and um, I guess that's all there is to see in Monaco. <laughs> Unless you got a lot of money. We're here at the La Maison de Caviar. I bet you can't guess what we're gonna have for appetizers. Yeah, we're gonna have some caviar. We're also gonna have some killer Barolo again, and some great uh, food, because the chef here is a friend didn't get to stalk John Olson as much as I wanted to. Actually, I ain't stalking you, man. I got stopped by the police for having a monopod in my cannon. I don't know how you film around Monaco without the cops stopping you. Like, what is your permit? I'm like, I got a card to my hotel? I'm like, no, the permit, the film, you're professional. I'm like, Dude, it's just a cheap 6D, man. And I took the microphone off. I think the microphone was something that threw him off. And he's like, where's your permit? And I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, I did like the fact that they stopped for pedestrians pretty nice here. And uh, the food was good. I got up to the castle. I saw where Princess Grace is buried and was married. Uh, so nice little town you got going here but I gotta get out of here. I don't know if I'll ever come back to Monaco. I didn't even think I was gonna come to Monaco in the first place, but it happened. Hey, if I saw you, I saw you, but I didn't. Ciao, ciao, ciao from Monaco.